Hi friends, my name is Al, our little star nerd. Um, the title is kind of clickbait. <laughs> I don't know exactly what I've titled it yet, but it's gonna be something like why I hate my art, why I say I hate my art. I don't hate my art, <laughs> but I think some people think that I do. This video is going to be a discussion on why I talk so negatively about my art so frequently and the comments that that receives and the frustration that that creates. I'm gonna make this disclaimer a million times. The comments that I'm gonna talk about, I know that they come from like a really good place, like really good intentions. Despite that, I still feel the way I feel about them, but that's a me problem. Like that's totally on me. Um, and my, my intention with this video is to, like I wish I could just take the compliment, right? Like I wish I could take it and shut up and everything be fine, but I can't. These comments really bother me. And what I wanna do with this video is just like talk about it and just let it go, right? Like just never talk about it again, never let it frustrate me again. I'm filming this intro retroactively, so I've already like recorded the voiceover and already just doing that, I feel so much better. It's like a weight is off my shoulders. Besides that, I also think it's like a really good discussion to have. I don't think that I'm objectively right, <laughs> but um, I've talked about this on the podcast and I got quite a few people in the comments like kind of agreeing with my perspective. And I thought maybe we could talk about it here and maybe people will kind of get why I get so frustrated by these comments and maybe they'll stop. Although that's not my intention with this video. This is not like to ask for these comments to stop. I know that's not how it works on the internet and I'm totally fine with that. Like I said, it's just for me to like get it out there. I think I have a great relationship with my audience and I'm super appreciative for that. And so I think like this is a great conversation for us to have, whether it bears any fruit or not. I just like to be open about these things. I like to talk about my feelings and you guys have to deal with it. Uh, yeah, so this is gonna be, I don't think that I'm actually like yelling at it. Like this isn't like a mean video. Um, it is just like a genuine discussion, but I always hate doing anything that makes it seem like I'm not grateful for you guys. So because I feel a little bit guilty about that, I thought that I would like the art in this video would be kind of um, like a, indulgent for you guys. Um, I always get requested to do a lot of heads in gouache. Um, so that's what we're doing. We're doing some portraits in gouache in my sketchbook. We're filling a spread. So sit back, relax, grab whatever you're working on and get ready to type a lengthy comment <laughs> and let's, let's do some art together. Let's go. So obviously the title is clickbait, as I said, but I swear, some people really seem to think that I, I hate my art. <laughs> this is a very, I think, nuanced discussion that a lot of people will have different feelings about as it relates to them. So I just wanna be clear that everything I gotta say is, you know, it's, it's my problem, right? It's my feelings about my situation. And I don't think I'm objectively right or whatever. Also, like, I wanna warn you, okay? I'm gonna be a little venti and I don't want it to come off as mean. I am so appreciative of anyone who has supported me, like anyone who watches me, all the support I've received. Um, but this is like, this topic is something that I, <laughs> like I have feelings about. Like, I just, I really feel the need to stress this. Um, like, I know that the comments I'm gonna talk about, like these are generally harmless, like I'm aware, um, and almost always come from good intentions. Like I need to make it so clear like off the bat that I do know that um, because I feel like I'm about to be mean. I don't want to be mean. Please give me like, give me the whole video to explain myself. Like listen, like hear me out, you know? <laughs> so something happened last year that I just can't stop thinking about. During a podcast episode about studio vlogs, someone said that they didn't like that artists never talk about failure or show bad art or, you know, how they, they always seem to be effortlessly perfect and how that's like not realistic, right? And at the time I was like, oh, that's great feedback. Let me keep that in mind for my future content. And then like two days later, like my memory just like came back to me. Like it hit me like a truck. I was like, wait a second. I did used to talk about my failures and struggles and bad art and my feelings about my art all the time back in like my early days of doing art online on Instagram, early YouTube videos, like sketchbook tours. But I had to stop because I was getting so many weird comments about it. People were constantly telling me to not be so hard on myself, to give myself a break, to be honest, you know you're actually good, to fake it till I make it and lie and pretend I like it. People would compare my art to theirs and say that if I thought what I did was bad, then I would hate what they do. They would tell me I was wrong when I said I wasn't happy with the way something turned out. I was told it was toxic of me. I was told not to be mean to myself. And I got so frustrated with constantly getting those comments that I thought, 
okay, you know, I'm just, I'm just gonna shut up. I won't talk about my feelings about my art anymore. And I just learned to kind of change my language and do anything I could to avoid being quote unquote, too hard on myself. I remembered that I used to be honest about all that stuff and I, I had stopped because people didn't like it. But that comment in that podcast episode made me think, you know what? I think it's important to be transparent and honest, especially as someone with a platform in this space, right? So I'm gonna do it again. And I started being more honest when I didn't like things and teasing myself and pointing out mistakes or flaws or weaknesses again in my videos and in my content. And right away, like, I mean, right away, those comments came back. And, and that's what I haven't been able to stop thinking about, like how instant that return of those comments was. I mean, like I get a comment along those lines, like at least once a day on at least one platform. Like it's, it's a lot. And okay, like another quick disclaimer, this video is not a plea to make these comments stop. For some reason, these comments really bother me, which we'll talk about why, but that's a me problem. These are those comments that I should just ignore and not let get to me, but I can't for some reason, they just eat at me. So I, I want to address it like for my own sake, but I also recognize that these comments 99% of the time come from really good intentions and are usually like supposed to be compliments and it's my bad that I can't take them. And also this is a public platform. Anyone is allowed to share their opinion. It would be hypocritical of me to say, you're not allowed to comment that anymore. Like I, I see the irony in that, like that would be hypocritical of me. But I also want to explain why I get so frustrated with these comments because I think it kind of shows sometimes. And I know that my audience is amazing. You guys have always been so cool and chill and supportive and understanding. And I have always felt respected and like loved. I feel like there's a really good relationship between us. And in honor of that respect, like I want to explain my complicated relationship with these comments to you guys. And I want to leave it here. I want to just get it out and have you guys understand. And then I really won't, I really won't let it get to me anymore because I can just point to this video instead of feeling as if I have to explain myself again and again and get frustrated. But I don't expect these comments to just disappear. For one, not everyone who wants to comment on like any of my videos will have seen this one, but also people might just disagree and that's also okay. There is so much for me to say here. Like this is a discussion that I've had multiple times, could have, I could talk about this for hours. I just have so many feelings and thoughts about this. So I'm going to try to be as like succinct as possible, but it, it might get a little disorganized. So just bear with me. First of all, I think being transparent and honest about my feelings, any of my feelings about my art is healthy. It's my right. And I think it sets a really good example for other younger, newer artists. Social media perpetuates perfection. And I know there are artists I look up to who I assume must crank out masterpieces every day and never make mistakes or make bad art or things they don't like because that's all I ever see them post is perfect stuff every day. And it makes me feel like I'm doing something wrong when I can't get my drawing right on the first try or at all. But the truth is every single artist makes bad art and they will make bad art for the rest of their lives. Artists will have complicated feelings or dislike some of the stuff they do for the rest of their lives. At no point does an artist reach the peak of knowledge and performance and surpass the possibility of failure. And I want that to be clear on my channel. I don't want any artist to compare themselves to me and think, what am I doing wrong? You're not a bad artist for making bad art. And I think by talking about that, about how sometimes I just make ugly stuff or don't know what I'm doing or I'm having an off day, I think being honest about that makes a much healthier environment for other artists to be in. And it makes my art environment healthier. Pretending to like everything you do or not allowing yourself to experience any sort of negative emotion towards your art might work for you. That might make you feel good. It does not make me feel good. Lying about my feelings to myself does not make me feel good. Being able to express the emotions that went into my art is a part of the learning process. It's part of the art process. It's inherent to it. And it seems counterintuitive to lie about it. Another major thing is like my self-worth is not tied to my art. It's okay if I make bad art. It's okay if I fail because failure is inevitable. There's always the possibility that I will fail. And it is so, so much easier to do art and have fun now that I've accepted that. Being okay with making bad art makes it so much easier to do art. I'm not scared of that possibility anymore, which makes just starting like far less intimidating. So that's why I talk about it. That's like the rationale, my thought process behind like why I am so adamant about sharing my negative feelings about my art. They're there and I'm not gonna pretend that they're not. And it's okay that they're there. People seem to get so upset when they hear me critique my art or find out I'm not in love with what I do. And it's so strange to me, especially when I get that from other artists. Like I'm learning, you know, I'm still very much learning. 
about everything to do with art. Sometimes I'm gonna do bad or ugly stuff and that is okay. I don't mind, it doesn't bother or upset me. It is not inherently or morally wrong to make bad stuff. Like I'm learning. <laughs> also, like my relationship with my art is one that will never ever leave me. I'm with it 24 seven, it doesn't go away. Just like how we have complicated relationships with ourselves or the family that we live with, I have a complicated relationship with my art. It will not always be perfect and sunshine and rainbows and having that expectation and enforcing that as a rule would put so much unnecessary strain on it. I personally think that being able to see and be aware of my weaknesses, mistakes, when I do poorly is part of learning. If I can't be honest about the things I can't do, how am I ever gonna be ready to work on getting better at them? Being able to identify my weaknesses means that I can go into my next work intentionally trying to improve that skill. It means that I can give an honest assessment of myself as an artist and don't dive into things that are way out of my depth. It means I can easily challenge myself when I want to because I know what will challenge me like a healthy amount. And maybe sometimes I'm a little too mean to myself about it. Like without context, seeing my video for the first time, someone might think I'm being mean. But also <laughs> like, I'll go back and I'll watch the videos where people say, like I, old sketchbook tours, I get a lot of comments of people telling me, you know, I, I thumbs down this video because you were too mean to yourself or like the, the negative vibes are way too much. And I'll go back and like, I don't get it. Like, I don't see it. Like, I don't see where I'm that mean to myself. Like, I feel like it's so obvious that I'm lightly teasing myself or like it, it never feels, I never feel bad vibes from my videos, like where those comments are really there, you know? And also like, maybe I really do think it's a bad piece, you know? Like maybe it's harsh, but also like I'm not hurting my feelings. And when I point out something and I'm like, oh, that's bad. I'm not hurting my feelings. I think people think that I am really truly like hurting my own feelings and bullying myself, but I don't know. The conclusion that I came to in the podcast episode about this uh, is that it's, it's just not that deep. Sometimes I make bad art, I think it's bad, and I'm okay with it. I, I don't mind when I make bad art, and so laughing about how it's bad is not, it's not mean to me. <laughs> it's just not that deep. This is where I can understand people's criticism, maybe, like I, I get it. Um, I'm not convinced <laughs> about it, but I can, I can sympathize. I can see why it would be hard for someone of a lower skill level or someone dealing with insecurity to see someone of a higher skill level call themselves bad. I can see why that's hard to see me call art that I do bad and think that's what my art looks like. But the truth of it is, I don't know you. I don't know what your art looks like. I'm not calling your art bad. I'm calling my art bad. And frankly, this is gonna sound mean. It's not my job to regulate someone else's feelings about that. It sounds mean, but like, do you get what I'm saying? Like. It's not my job to make sure that people don't compare themselves to me. Like there's only so much I can do about that. When I look at people that I look up to and they say that they're not happy with what they've done or that they really struggle with this, I don't take it personally because they're better than me. So how can they say that? Cause that must mean something about me. Like I, that's not their job. They are allowed to critique themselves without that meaning anything about anyone else. It's not that artist's job to speak about themselves in a way that protects my feelings. And on top of that, um, like I'm not calling your art bad, I'm calling my art bad. There is so much context behind the word bad or ugly that is just too much for me to go into every time I wanna quickly say that like I didn't like something I did, you know? Like on the podcast, a piece of like feedback I got was like, well, if you explain why and you, you discuss, like whatever, right? Like if you give reasoning, I don't wanna do that every time. <laughs> like if in a sketchbook tour, if I picked apart every single specific thing I didn't like and why or what I could learn from that or whatever, this the tour would last multiple hours. It's just easier for me to say it's bad or ugly or I don't like it. And not to mention when I do go into that discussion, people still give me the same comments, but whatever. But, but what that means is like when I say ugly or it's bad, what I mean is during the couple hours I worked on this, I had these different struggles that made the process less fun. I know all the mistakes I made during the process. I had a vision in my head of how it would turn out and it doesn't look like that. I know I can do better because I know my skill set. I'm aware that I didn't put my full effort in. I'm looking at this final product in relation to where I'd like my art to be one day. I had goals in mind for this piece and I didn't reach them. All of that is behind the word bad or ugly. And that is just too much to explain every single time. And except, you know what? Sometimes I just do mean that it's ugly. <laughs> Sometimes things are ugly. I have the capability of making bad and ugly things just like everyone else. And that's what happens sometimes. I don't think ugly is an insult, like I, 
I think a lot of people put like this morality behind bad or ugly and stuff and that they think that that's like such a, a bad word to say, like a curse word. And it's like, I don't think it's inherently wrong to, to make those things. When I get these comments, I know that they are meant to be compliments. I know people are saying them with the best of intentions. They hear critique and they think I'm being mean to myself and they wanna step in and stop that. I understand that and I appreciate that thought. But man, <laughs> those comments bother me far more than critique ever will. And let me tell you why. Let me tell you what I'm hearing. I feel like I'm being told I'm not allowed to feel the things that I feel about my art, that my feelings are wrong or bad. And if I'm going to feel those things anyways, I'm not allowed to talk about them. I need to lie and fake it till I make it and shut up about how I feel because negativity is a bad thing. When I say I messed up or didn't do well and people say, no, don't say that, you did so good, you're such a good artist. I feel like I'm being told I'm not allowed to fail. I'm not allowed to make bad art. And that's a lot of pressure. I would love if people acknowledge that sometimes I do bad or lackluster or dumb or underwhelming stuff sometimes. I love having the freedom to be bad at things. Sometimes I feel like people are trying to tell me they know my emotions or skill or art process better than I do. They'll try and tell me how I feel or if I say, you know, I'm disappointed with the result and I know I didn't put much effort into it. I was really lazy. They'll say, that's not true. I can tell you put so much time and effort in. Like, no, I wasn't lying. <laughs> I was there. I know how much effort I put in and it wasn't a lot. And that's a valid critique for me to give myself. Don't, you know, don't tell me that that's not true when like, how would you even know, right? Like you weren't there. Or I'll say, this isn't how I wanted it to turn out or this line isn't supposed to be here. I messed up here or something like that. And I'll get a comment telling me, no, you're wrong. It looks great. Okay, it might look good, but I, <laughs> like, I did still mess up that line, right? Like it's still not what I wanted. That is true. I'll get comments saying like, come on, stop saying that. You know you're good at art, stop lying. And like, yeah, man, I know I am good at art, right? To quote Watsky, I wouldn't have spent a decade doing this if I didn't believe I was at least a little bit ridiculously filthy at it. I'm aware that I am good at art. I wouldn't be putting myself on the internet or pursuing it as my career if I didn't have some confidence in my skills. You know I'm good at art. That's probably why you're here. I know I'm good at art. We don't, you know, we don't need to talk about it, right? How annoying would it be if I talked about how good I was all the time? And even knowing that I'm good, that doesn't mean that I'm incapable of doing stuff I don't like or doesn't meet my standards. It also doesn't mean I'm incapable of doing bad and ugly stuff sometimes. I'm not perfect. I'm not a master. I There are a lot of places that I'm lacking skill. It's, it's really weird when I just wanna talk about like things that I struggle with. Like it's a fact that this is, you know, something that messes up my process because I, I'm not skillful in this area. And it's something that I wanna work on. It's a skill that I wanna build. And I, that's all, I'll, like I'll just talk about how this is something I wanna get better at. And people be like, but you're already good. And it's like, okay, that doesn't mean that I didn't struggle with this during the process. It doesn't mean that I'm not allowed to wanna to be better. And it's weirdly like invalidating. Like it's such a, this ah, sounds so like lame <laughs> to be like, oh, people think I'm good at art. But like, it's weirdly invalidating to be like, hey, I struggled here and I wanna build the skill and to have people be like, no, like what? <laughs> also, like kind of a side note here, people can still like my art if I don't, right? Like I can point out my mistakes and weaknesses and not like something I did and people can still love it or like it or think it's okay. My opinions about the result of my art are my opinions, you can have your own. Me calling something bad does not mean it's necessarily objectively bad. People can still like it and find value in it without telling me that my opinions are wrong. These kinds of comments frustrate me because it makes me feel bad for not feeling bad about being bad. Like I'm okay with making bad stuff and it makes me, like these comments make me feel like I should. <laughs> I like being chill about my art. I like not feeling too much pressure. I like being able to point out my mistakes and failures and see those as an opportunity to grow. I like having room to fail and to me, those comments are telling me that I'm not allowed to have any of that, that I'm good now, so I have to talk about how I'm good all the time and can't talk about what I'm not good at, only what I am good at, and I'll never get better because everything I do is perfect. It's weird and exhausting and a lot of pressure. And like I said, I know that these comments are given with the best of intentions. 
I feel like an asshole getting so worked up over basically being told that I'm good at what I do. But it's so exhausting to feel like I'm working to create a really healthy mindset and space and constantly have people tell me I'm toxic for it and the solution is pretending to be happy all the time. A comment on the podcast episode put this really well. I think like better than I could have said it in this entire video. Window 4503 said, when I say what I want to improve on, my friends say, oh, but it looks so good. To them, I'm being modest. To me, they're denying my full potential by saying that's the best I can do. It's weirdly limiting and uncomfortable when all you're trying to say is that you have room to grow and that you're not satisfied with what you do. And you know, maybe there's some levity there and maybe, you, maybe you're maybe you kind of insulting yourself, but you know, to, to be funny, because again, you have to deal with this all the time. You live with your art and people are like, get really worked up about it. It's, it's weird. It's a weird feeling and it's frustrating. The most frustrating comments I used to get were ones that would basically tell me I'm unsubscribing or I'm disliking this video because no matter how much I like the art, you were too negative. You were too hard on yourself. You weren't people telling me that my mindset is wrong and that I need to think like them. And because I don't, they're disliking my video. And that's fine. Like I don't, if you want to dislike my video, slay, pop off, freedom of speech, internet is, you know, do whatever you want, that's fine. But I always thought it was so strange that people felt the need to tell me that. And that also <laughs> like, like I don't like you because you don't aren't as positive as me. You know what I mean? Like I always thought that was funny. And at first it didn't bother me until it got to the point where it was really, really consistent. And obviously, like I've just discussed, there's a lot of complicated feelings behind it. And again, it's a me problem. Like it's a me problem that I feel that way. Especially because I know people are just trying to be nice or tell me that I'm good at my job. I mean, it's just frustrating. I think it's toxic positivity, in my opinion, and it just doesn't work for me. And if it works for other people, that's fine. And I don't wanna hurt people's feelings. Like when I talk about myself, I don't want other people to internalize that or think that I'm talking about them. I don't want to be spreading negativity. But also, I just personally don't feel that things need to be positive all the time. Like, I don't think negativity is always bad. I don't think critique is bad. Critique is, in my opinion, an inherent part of art, certainly professional art. And especially as someone who is self-taught, like mainly self-taught, I, I'm i one of the few people I have to give myself critique. I don't have, like, I don't go to school and I don't get critique from like my teacher. I have to critique myself if I wanna get better. And maybe one day when I'm, you know, trying to put stuff together to like put into a gallery and I'm trying to like get a show together, right? And I'm trying to make all these completed pieces, maybe then I will be less hard on myself. But for right now, I'm not doing that. I'm just working in a sketchbook. None of it matters. It's not that big of a deal. If it's bad, I don't care. And it just, it fe like to me, it's all so casual. Like to me, it's all so chill. <laughs> and like, I don't care that much. And I, I feel like I express that. I think that comes off in videos. And when I get these comments that are so passionately like, no, don't say that. It's, it's just like, why? It's just strange to me. And it's frustrating to feel like I'm not allowed to feel the things that I feel. I know this whole spiel is probably a bit too harsh considering what it's in response to, probably a bit of a disproportionate response. I really don't mean to like get on anyone or complain or be mean. I think most of what I'm arguing against has come like from my own head. It's, it's my own inflation of what I'm reading into from these comments. But for some reason, it, it really does get to me. And I think this is a great conversation to have. It's something that I feel really passionately about. And like, I, I believe in the points that I've made. I really do. But now I've said my piece, I'm gonna drop it, okay? I'm gonna, I'm for real, seriously, I'm gonna drop it. If, I mean, okay, listen, if there's a good discussion going on in the comments, I'll participate. But like in life, in general, <laughs> I'm gonna let it go now. Anyways, that's my rant. That's my video. I hope you enjoyed watching the art process and hope you could understand where I'm coming from with the rant. Please let me know your thoughts and opinions about all this, about comments like that. I'd love to hear it. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, the whole shebang. I hope you have a great day. Go wash your hands, lay on the floor, and go do some art.